since YouTube changed the comment section feature and the home page has degenerated further where now uh, things are even worse than when I ranted back in 2011 about that great bullshit on the left how they're trying to make everything like Facebook which they always did try to make the home page like Facebook they always did try to make the channels like Facebook and Google Plus things like this and there's even a dashboard feature which I don't think anybody uses correct me if I'm wrong but that just makes me wonder Oh, in the comments section, there's no longer a character limit. And now there's a spam out there. Want to see the problem with the new comments section? Click see more and you get like 25 pages of that shit. It's funny. Because it's true. And that brings up a question. How would I want YouTube to be like? How do I react to YouTube? How do we create a change? Because YouTube was on decline from 08 through early 2010, then it kind of got better after that, and then it quickly became worse. Like late 2010, bullshit happened. Well, here's some features I like that YouTube does. Back in 08, they added the time feature where you could, like, fucking write some bullshit, like a zero colon 58, this funny thing happened, or that funny thing happened, or click this and you'll see, like, a still frame of a funny-ass face. I like when they do stuff like that. I like when YouTube gauges in that sort of creativity uh, I really miss the ability to actually rate the video I'm not saying fucking likes and dislikes that's stupid uh, like I used to when I was 12 speak like that on a regular basis because of YouTube. I didn't say that I liked this or I thought this was cool. I gave it a numerical rate rating where 5 was the best. I think it's really cool because it'll really let you know the value of something as opposed to just likes, dislikes, and shit like that. Some other things I kind of miss. I missed the 2007 homepage. I think it was easier to find your subscribe your subscriptions like that. And I have like a lot of subscriptions. I subscribe to a lot of channels, and really, <laughs> that's a feature that has to be good for me. Like, I have to see all these niggas I subscribe to. Right now, it's getting more and more annoying to see those subscriptions. Especially when they're always trying to make it more difficult for you to get rid of this recommended for you shit. Shit that we recommend. Because you watch three fucking Sailor Moon videos, and now we think you love Sailor Moon. Because you decided to give it a shot, and now you're getting punished for it. I mean, now I know why niggas don't watch my videos. Can you imagine watching like two Mr. Rocket Seven videos, like the cult hentai review, and then and then that one where I like rub chapstick all over my chest and my eye and shit like that. And talk about foods and yogurt and semen. You're like, eh, this guy's not for me. But then, for a whole week, you're gonna have recommended for you some new Mr. Walk 7 videos. That's a little annoying. Also, it has a lot of glitches. So, 
immediately those are two things I want back. Something I'm in the middle of is top comments and comment rating. When I was in YouTube, when I started, there was none of that. And it was a much better place for it, in my opinion. But comments are going to be awesome. They're going to get the likes. It's just so many people are tryhards. Like this, if you saw this video in 2012. Fuck you. Fuck you. So cruel. People that think they're funny. No, make the world a better place. Stop talking. Stop communicating. You can't do it. <laughs> uh, that's too harsh coming from a guy that... Like me, but anyway. Playlist feature is good. Uh, they really need to bring back tags. Because some people write witty shit in their tags. Like, I remember for the I'm a memes for Dragon Ball Z. I'm a Siru. I'm a Vegeta. I'm a Piccolo. I'm a Krillin. I'm a Goku. I'm a Kai. Uh, they usually wrote. Whoever was in charge of those, some witty ass uh, fucking tags. You really like the cell arc, too. I don't know, I think that's a cool arc. And besides that bullshit, uh, yeah. The video response feature, I don't know why they got rid of that. Okay, the reply girls were annoying. But you don't get rid of the video response feature, you get rid of the fucking dumbass reply girls. I'm glad that they're obsolete, but... Did you really have to get rid of such an awesome feature? Such an integral part of YouTube? I mean... At one point, I was known as the video response guy back in 2011 and 2012. I used to also have some interesting video responses to some of my videos. Now, a lot of those videos are gone because they deleted those videos, but the point is, interesting shit all the time. It's fun to get a video response. It's like something so rare for some people and I like getting name dropped in my vid in videos and shit like that, it's cool video responses need to come back, what else needs to come back it's a lot of shit from YouTube's early days is gone yeah, they got rid of bulletins, which I really enjoyed for promoting my own videos and letting niggas know shit. It was also kind of funny when uh, guys would write stuff like, um, K, 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 like, someone wrote K, but they wrote it a couple extra times. They made another bulletin. Fuck oh, my god, guys, I'm sorry, I'm not a racist. That was a typo. Uh, or one person actually came out in the bulletins. They have a feature to replace that, like, send your message to other YouTubers. And I relied on it. It's a little different, a little more convenient, a little less convenient. I think YouTube kind of lost some of its funness. Now it's just a place for fucking videos. The more they try to make it like Facebook, ironically, the less it <laughs> feels like you're socializing with people. Channel comments were also a lot more interesting. Like, they were also a lot more important in my eyes. Like, now if I check a comment on my channel, it's not really interesting. So that's a feature that needs to come back. Groups. I love YouTube groups. I used to have one. It was a 
<laughs> what was my group anyway? It was a uh, chocolate factory. No, Mr. Wonka Ultima. That was a shit. Eh? It was with me, my best friend, a guy I used to beef with on YouTube, but we became cool. Uh, some Jap, the Japanese kid. I was one of my bros. A lot of interesting guys were in that group. Very important group for me. Uh. We would share some of our videos, posts, favorites. It became somewhat of a community thing. Streams, yeah. I miss the streams. Back when, uh... It was like almost YouTube meets Justin TV. Where you can stream your favorite videos onto this thing. Usually they're all based on a topic. It was bombarded with 12 year olds, but at the same time, it was kind of cool. Like, you were all sharing your fucking favorite videos. You can click any of them. There was a live chat feature. I mean, live chats are functional now. Yeah, and I actually remember the stream for my channel was called the Chocolate Factory. And, uh, because, you know, Mr. Walker 7, of course. And, uh, people would visit. And I would kind of share my videos. They would share their favorite videos. And we would chat there. There would be admins. And stuff like that. It was kind of like JTB, except I wasn't live on camera doing live commentary and things like that. We're just streaming videos we like and shit like that. Could you imagine that now? Like YouTube groups and uh, YouTube streams, because a lot of that stuff is stuff I still kind of do. I mean, JTV may not be something I do anymore. I stopped since February because of the server issue. I kind of rage quitted because this girl tried to help me out, uh, and I didn't notice all the comments because of server problems. I was like, no, fuck this shit. And she was getting kind of pissy at me. But there's also I made a returning broadcast around May and then I basically made a special video in June during JTV just three minute shit. It was kind of cool. What else do I miss? I mean, I could go on. There's a lot of features on YouTube that I think kind of made YouTube a pinnacle that's gone now. Yeah, they're mostly used by 12-year-olds. Bulletins have been replaced with something a lot more streamlined. But with, when you finally take the video response feature away, what is there on YouTube? You can comment on videos. I can comment on channels. I can post a pseudo bulletin like my message for everyone if they're gonna check something like that out you can't even subscribe to favorites uh, can you even subscribe to a playlist I think you can for a playlist but not for favorites and it doesn't count as a subscriber for me like, I used to have a lot of if that feature still existed I'm sure I'd have a lot of subs because, especially in like pre-2012, hell even now I guess, I kind of lazed up with that, I'm a little lazy around that. Uh, YouTube was essentially like, my favorite feature was kind of interesting, but I would sometimes show like Taekwondo versus Karate Guy. Uh, some funny ass YouTube poops and things like that, like whatever is cool and whatever is interesting and informative too. I know I'd subscribe to Fringe's favorites thing since he's like that too. Anyway, this is Mr. Rocket Seven and suck my dick. Respect King.